I'm an overweight middle-aged man. The only explanation, that old game machine must- You're a girl. Woman. Girl? Like an anime character, now sparkle. Oh my god, these things are crazy! I will torch you, bitches! I will literally burn your face! We did it. Let's go! This can't actually be happening. Maybe we're all in a coma. Together? We're all in a coma together? It's the only explanation. That old game machine must have electrocuted all the rest of so intense. I like can't even with this place. What just happened to you? I got eaten by a rhino and then I fell like a thousand feet from the sky. Tom <sighs> okay, let's get it over with. You gotta be kidding me. Well, geometry is it's new. Yeah. Who wouldn't want to be better at geometry? And for weaknesses, endurance. And what else? Let's see. Heat, sun, and sand. Shouldn't be a problem. It's not like we're in the middle of a goddamn desert or anything. What's the point of this guy? Who even needs this guy? He can read the map. Easy for you to say you got nunchucks. I've been training four hours a day for six months. Now look at me. Man, it is hot out here. How is this guy a character in an adventure game? OK, OK, OK. I just gotta get this guy in shape. Build up some endurance. I know how to do that. Burpees, five burpees, right now. Get it going. That's one. Wow. Oh no. Oh yeah, come on. North is that way. We can do this. We just have to take our time and make careful decisions. What are you talking about? It's obvious. We start on that bridge right there, then jump down to that one that heads off to the right at 30 degrees, and then those two that look like two sides of a trapezoid. <gasps> Geometry. That's what it's for. Maybe this character's not totally worthless. So that means I, I'm. Wait, Bethany. Bethany, don't. I'm an overweight middle-aged man. Hmm. Oh, okay. I see a, a dungeon at the top of this ice wall. That must be where they're keeping your grandpa. And Milo is probably in this like barn thing all the way on the other side of the place. Okay, we gotta split up. One team goes to get Milo, the other team busts out my grandpa. Come on, you guys. Bring it in. B, aggressive. B, B, aggressive. Huh? B, aggressive. B, B, aggressive. Come on, guys. That's not what I thought this was. That's not, no. We should just go. Let's okay, go. just go. go team. Okay. Hi there. I'm Alex. Spencer Gilpin, Martha, Fridge, and Bethany. Bethany, you're a girl. Woman. <laughs> In real life, you probably wouldn't hit that. I've got it. Distracting guys is like the main thing I do. He plays video games, I distract guys. Bethany, I hate to break it to you right now, but you don't exactly have the, um, the toolkit. Not me. What? You have to go down there and flirt with those guys no. and hold their attention while we sneak in. No! I can't just go over there and flirt with some weird soldiers I don't even know. I know, girl, but right now we don't have a better idea. You don't understand. I actually can't do it. I can't talk to guys. I'm terrible at it. I can give you 
you some pointers. Okay. In flirting situations, the key is making them check you out without letting them know that you know that they're checking you out. You're just like, whatever, I'm doing me. And then when they try to talk to you, you can play it one of three ways. Dumb, super into it, or nasty. Which way you play it depends on what kind of guy you're dealing with. This is like my dream and my nightmare all at one time. I'm not gonna take that personally. Now, hair is everything. Touch it, move it, play with it. Move it around a lot, hypnotize them with it. Give me a flip like that. Okay, now angle your eyes down. Now head down, tilt up, eyes big. Now sparkle. Sparkle? Like an anime character, now sparkle. Needs work. Okay, let's talk about your walk. Take your time. Make a meal of it like a gorgeous gazelle or a horse. High step it, one foot in front of the other, and bring it. Boom, boom. That's not it. Yikes. Anything you can do to draw attention on the lips, like a little nibble like this. A nibble goes a long way, girlfriend. Good. That's yeah. better. Now smile. You look terrified. Oh my god, you're so funny. You're so funny. Oh my god, you're so funny. Oh my God, you're so funny. I think I'm getting it. You are getting it, go girl. <laughs> now keep your lips slightly parted, like, like, yeah. No, not gross, just relax. Now touch your tongue to the roof of your mouth, like this. Like this? Like this. Like this? Like this. Like this. Like this. Like this. I think you're ready. Cool. Okay, flirt like our lives depend on it, because they do. You there. Stay where you are. Who? Us? Are you the Brothers Kababic? Are we the who? Are you the Brothers Kababic? Yes. We are them. It is we. Us. We are the Brothers Kadabra. Kadabrak. He is one brother, and I am the other brother. We, we are different mothers, but we are, we came to get the thing that we came to get. Brothers Kababic, on behalf of Jürgen the Brutal, welcome to Zatmaya's stronghold. <sighs> Thank you. So, tell me, which brother is which? Um, how do you mean? Which brother is which? Which of you is Augustus? And which is Tomatole? Um, I am Augustus. And I'm Tom Tolik. Augustus Kababik, the cleverest man in all of Jumanji. Yes, I'm totally that man. And Tom Atole Kababik. That's me. The bravest eunuch. Wait a minute, what? Did you say eunuch? Tom Atole Kababik, everyone knows the tale of your great and generous sacrifice how you gave your testicles in order to save the region from the floods. Okay, I think there might be a little confusion. Of course! Everybody knows the story about my little brother and his famous testicles. Wherever they may be. Wherever they may be. All right, let's back up. Let's go back a little bit. Let's clear some stuff up. He's super brave. Know. I've always been the super clever one, and he's always been super brave. And super ballless. Stop saying that! Both of my balls are right here! In spirit. They're here in spirit. Always. Of course. Right, bro? Right. I got no balls. It looks like there's a village on the other side of this mountain. Maybe that's the bazaar. Let's do it. Wait. I gotta take a leak first. I've been dreading this all day, but so do I. Can I come with you and you show me how it's done? I may need your help. Uh, uh yeah, sure. sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll help you out. <clears throat> so, how do we do this? Uh, easy. You just, uh, you unzip, take it out, fire away. Remember to aim. It's very important. 
Oh my God, you guys, there's like literally a penis attached to my body right now. Martha, come look at my penis. No, thanks. What, is this the first that you've seen it? Yes, I didn't want to look. I looked at mine within the first 20 seconds of getting here. I'm happy to report that I was able to bring one thing from the outside world. What are you, are you what are you doing? Are you looking? Sorry. You don't look over yeah, here. You never look. It's a thing. Okay, good boy. We're gonna take this nice and slow and nobody's gonna get hurt. Now what? Now blast off. And aim. Don't forget to aim. What is with you and the aiming? What happened to you? Can we not talk about this in mixed company? Wow. Wow. Wow! Oh, this is so much easier! <laughs> It's cool, right? Yeah, because you have, a, like, a handle. The fact that I'm not Instagramming this right now is insane.